was going to be the P-72 hauler if we yeah. would have gotten the P-72. Yeah. By the way, everyone, make sure to come out to our Savage Rally send-off Cars and Coffee event this September 18th. All of us will be there, along with Street Speed 717, Alex Choi, and even the whole Triple F collection. It's gonna be a ton of fun. We'll have a huge merch booth there with all brand new items and some things you can only get at the event. We'll also be signing stuff, taking photos. It's gonna be amazing. It's September 18th, 8 to 11 a.m. at the Westfield Montgomery Mall Sears parking lot. A link to the poster and the full address is in the description down below. See you guys there. Hi. <laughs> what are you making there? Shake family. Mm-hmm. Oscar. Taco. They don't normally, like, this is not the way they live their life like this. Oh, there's Rachel. What are you doing? I'm taking the tires. So, you want to explain why we're back in Maryland? Because we haven't done that yet. Why we're back in Maryland? Well, because Florida gets a little too hot during the summertime. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we've got other, I got other things I got to take care of here. I'm buying a new house here. Yeah. Could you tell me about this? Because we never did a delivery video on this. We never, we never talked about this. We never talked about the Earth. So this is the 2021 Earth. They have all lights of like really good features, like soft closed doors. See, I can do like this. And just... hey. I did it in Grigio Telesto, which mm -hmm. I wanted to do to match the SVJ. To me, it looks very angry, but also has a very military connotation, which you know has that sort of feel of rough, tough, you know. And I and I like that. And that was the European spec color launch for. The SVJ. Did it with the orange calipers. This has, of course, the 10 piston huge front calipers. Did it with a nice orange contrast stitch inside. Again, I did the um, buckets in the back. Yep. Which I think are really nice, especially considering I don't get a lot of five people in the car, I get a lot of four. Mm -hmm. And it's comfortable that way, and you have that nice separation. They all have their own seat controls, too, which is awesome. Yep. Um, yep. You, you know, can go back and forth and do all that stuff. This one also has the nice little you know, oh, privacy shade, lacy shades nice. on top with the tint, of course. So, what is it like five percent limo tint and the shades? Yeah. So, you can see <laughs> so the first time I saw this car, the first thing I noticed right off the bat was the fact that it did have a different steering wheel, and it's really yeah, thick. Original. So my company, Detail Boutique, John calls me and says we're doing all these cool new wheels, and would you like? just to do one for the Urus, and I said, absolutely. Looks like a factory core, but it's um, all carbon and leather, perforated leather with the same orange stitch. It's beautiful. Is there anything else that's been done to this so far? Um, on the outside, yep. It's got our three-stage paint correction, PPF, and ceramic on top of it from Detail Boutique. We did the Anarchy 24-inch wheels from Wheels Boutique. Lowering links from Novatech. It's got the factory exhaust on it, just yeah. has downpipes on it, and a mild tune. Who did the tune on the car? Uh, Camillo did the tune on the car. 1K Motorsports. Um, it is, without a doubt, phenomenal. Um, shifts are clean, everything's really good. It's the best tune I've had on ours. So in the comments section, mm -hmm. I want you guys to discuss what else could be done to this car? Remember something though, it is already twin turboed. Yes, we could put bigger turbos on it and all that. Remember, it's a utility vehicle. It is nearly 750 horsepower right now. Do you need more? Everybody's gonna say, of course you need more. But you know, what other design styles would you like? Should we do anything that would be different um, for this car so it is a little bit different from the last one? Well, it's so. got a tow hitch, so we could do some sort of cool tow hitch you know like we were talking about doing with a hummer um Wait. the hummer's coming back it's just it's the hummer's up in uh the hummer this will be the tow vehicle for the custom enclosed carrier that i'm making to carry the conics <laughs> Uh, 
had a full Duramax twin turbo swap, super fast now. We're doing some uh, interior modifications to it. That originally, that was the Koenigsegg hauler. Or like that's yeah, it was going to be that about. or was going to be the P72 hauler if we yeah. would have gotten the P72. Yeah. So why don't we talk about that in the Urus? I think that would be fun. Also, what? The P72? Yeah, okay. we should talk about it. Also, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of... I would love to get a ride in this now that's got the tune on it. Yeah, Because sure. I don't think your last Urus was this fast. No, I don't think so either. We yeah. Go <laughs> Just go straight around. I am. Yeah, we could do that. I can't believe that's just sound pipes. That's ridiculous. So, the only thing I got going on, if I go back into Strata here, is I've got a TPMS gauge going off, and I think it's with my front right tire. Okay. So, that's the only idiot light now. Before, yeah. like, it was before the tune, all the idiot lights were on because of the, of the down pipes and all that. Rachel's smart. She's looking at this like, hold on a second, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Feels a lot faster. Yeah, if you open the windows a little here. Yeah. <laughs> Grand. What? Yeah, that's why it's such a, and it's a manual, dude. It's no a manual. Yeah. Randy, what do you think? Oh, I think 10 out of 10? Would buy? I think, it's, I think it's unbelievable. Manual? For production, yes. I can get a manual. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one, the show car is uh, sequential. Sure. Yes. 72 production cars would be all the stick yeah. Oh, awesome. And about 800 grand out the door? -ish. Euro, yeah. yeah, yeah. So why don't you tell me about the P72? Because that was in Monterey Car Week of 2019. You go look at P72 climbing a hill at Goodwood. It sounded insane. <laughs> Basically, at that point, it had the Apollo IE engine in it. Either that or a very mildly detuned or something. It was based fully on the Apollo IE engine. We were all very excited when we heard it. It was going to be somewhere around seven, eight hundred thousand dollars okay. in that range, which is pretty unbelievable. But the big thing that really drew me to it was it going to be a manual B12. Okay. I got on the list at Quail. Yeah. I was very, very excited to say, oh wow, we're going to get this amazing looking B12 manual. Right. And I understand, and I'm not, this isn't against De Tomaso or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a huge fan. I love the P72 still. However, for production purposes, they made it a V8. And if I'm not mistaken, I may be mistaken. You guys can correct me if you know more. The V8 is based off of a Ford V8 block, or shall I say, a Mustang block. So you kind of got bait and switched. And not just you, but everyone who ordered one. Like it reminds me, do you remember the XJ220? Oh, sure. When and they were like, hey, it's a V12. Oh, nope, it's a twin turbo V6. Six, right. Here's the thing. They okay. never said it was going to be a V12. I asked specifically, what's in the car? V12. Right. I go, okay. What's in the car, not what's going to be in the car. Right. Yeah. And I didn't realize that was a question I needed to rephrase. I see. Now, right. as it turns out, they're not even making the manual. Really? That is what I've heard. The word was that anybody who filmed the car was not allowed to film the engine bay. Really? I guess that makes sense then, because when I think back to all of the videos I've ever seen of that car, right? you never, like, you heard the car, you saw it driving, you never saw the engine. Right, and that's, that's kind of sad. So, to me, it was, it was very disappointing. I was very, I was very disappointed to hear that. So I took myself off the list and said, I'm not going to be spending $700,000 on a V8. When we were in Monterey for 2019, I remember yep. of all the cars, that was probably the most impressive one. Oh, um, absolutely. You know, in terms of the paint, I mean, the gauges, the, 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 the RPM gauge was Roman numerals. The, the you interior, know, it was nuts. The interior was is spectacular. 
to me, yeah, the Ford GT mm -hmm. is a beautifully designed car that he yeah. owns. Uh, there's not an ugly angle on that car. However, it's missing its sound. Yes. It's missing that aggressive car. Now, that should have had a V8, the ball thing. Yeah. The problem was, uh, you know, yeah, could it be? Could the P72 be great with a V8? Sure, it could be. But that's not why I was interested in the car. Right. I like V12 sounds. And when you're talking about a brand new V12 um, with a manual gearbox, naturally aspirated, are you kidding me? Go go listen to the wire R. Yeah. You don't like a V12 naturally aspirated engine. It screams. And it and the Zonda screams. The Apollo IE. They, that car screams. Now, why don't I go buy an Apollo IE? No. <laughs> They're beautiful cars, they, but they are definitely very fragile. So that's what happened to the P72. Yep. Just, they kind of, wouldn't say completely bait and switched, but you know, it's not what it was supposed to be. So it's so sad that that thing was so cool when we saw it. All the gold work, all of the interior yeah, pieces. It was the rose, it was rose gold. And the um, I don't know what material it was, but the exhaust tip was uh, like it had some patina to it, which yep. was so cool. I saw doing that car in just like so many different specs. Yeah. And, you know, I don't even know if it's ever going to come out. If it does come out and it's gorgeous and I truly still love it, I'll go buy one. But I mean, <laughs> but I just, I felt let down. Yeah. Just absolutely let down by that car. And it's nothing against the designers. It's nothing against the owners. Practical decisions when you're building anything or doing anything in business make sense. If it makes sense for you to do that, and, and that's from a practical standpoint to keep costs down, I understand it. There's just something about having a V12 taken away to a V8. It didn't even go from a, to a 10. It went to an 8. Well, in other news, why don't we talk about Savage Rally? Because that's coming up very soon. Yep. We are leaving from Westfield Shopping Center in Montgomery County, the mall. Okay. We have the entire mall parking lot as our Cars and Coffee event the morning of the 18th, which is going to be incredible. Got it. Because there's just going to be some phenomenal cars there. It's going to be busy, yeah. Um, but you know what's great is that you know it feels really cool to come back to where we started as Savage Garage. You know, it's a homegrown Maryland concoction. It really is, a, you know, now we've had Miami and all that, and we've gone all over the US and stuff, but you know, Maryland is it's a hometown and all the hometown people are gonna come out. And I love that. We're also gonna have merch there and we're gonna have a whole like fan experience and the Pagani's gonna be there, yeah. which is one of the coolest things in the world. The Pagani, when you first had it, it never ended up coming to Maryland. But right. this time it's going to. Right. As long as we can get the one part. Um, yeah, we can talk about the one part. Pagani's been running great. I had a full service done. I even had the transmission update done. So what's the holdup from bringing it when up When we were driving it the other day, when I was driving it with Tim, yeah. we noticed I was getting a wing failure um, on the passenger side rear wing. Okay. As it turns out, it's a motor. it was a motor error. Okay. In that one. So Pagani's it's covered, it's warranty, but it's coming from Italy. Oh, so <laughs> we're waiting. Fun. We're waiting. We can't. It's not like we can just throw the car back together. Right. The whole ta tail section of the car is in pieces. Really? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, look at it this way. Even if it makes, even if it's done the night of the 17th, it's going to be here for the rally. <laughs> New Earth, man, this thing is way faster than the last one. What are you doing here? Uh, I need to get the, some, somehow, the right passenger side wheel is seriously curved. Yeah. And I've been gone for a month. How do you think that could happen? Yeah, I've been gone for a little bit. My car has left the driveway, not with me in it, and so I was damaged. Oh, who are we low key jabbing? <laughs> that would be her <laughs> daughter. So, new Earth, so, SVJ present. We love all you guys, stay savage people. <laughs> I have no steak left on my sandwich. Hi guys, it's the end of the video, but I wanted to show you this because 
why not? Where else am I going to put it? <laughs> Rachel did this to Randy's SVJ. We found a, um, well, let's call it a, just something to use as a rally prank from last year in the back of Rachel's C63. So um, now it's on Randy's SVJ. Yeah, that's a, that's a look. That's a look, all right. Ooh. Yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>